Drish TV here at the Fly Into the Hoop in Dayton, Ohio. And to my right, I have one of the top players in the country, Jonathan Isaac. How you feeling today, man? Pretty good. Now, obviously, you're not playing this weekend due to a foot injury, but what can the team improve on after yesterday to take home the victory today? I don't think we moved the ball well enough, so I think just getting, getting up and down, moving the ball, we'll, we'll, we'll play better today. Okay, now overall, what does the team have to do throughout the rest of the season to reach that national peak that you guys want to reach before the season ends? I think just getting me back healthy. And, you know, usually when I'm playing, we play a lot better, so we're clicking a lot better, the chemistry-wise. But I think just getting me back. Okay, now for the people that don't know, what's going on with your injury? I just got a little crack in there. I need some time to heal. Okay, now oh, what's the outlook? You don't, you don't know yet? I'm not sure. I got to get another x-ray. Okay, now as far as you, for the people who haven't seen you play, how would you describe your basketball game? Uh, I just say versatile. I just like to do a lot of different things. What can you improve on before the next level? I say everything. You know, guard skills, strength wise, everything. You know what the biggest room is? Biggest room? Yeah, the biggest room in the world. No. Is the room for improvement. So you can always improve on everything. Okay. Now, we all know that you're committed to Florida State. What made you decide to commit there? Uh, just my relationship with the coaches, relationship with the people that, that are going there with me. And I just think it's a great situation. Uh, what do you think about the program so far? Uh, Bacon went there last year. Uh, numerous of top star guys are going there. What's been a transition as far as getting those guys to go to Florida State? I just think I just think the coaches, the coaching staff, you know, the program is definitely on a rise. I just think the coaching staff is great. Okay, now what do you think about the Flying to the Hoop tournament this weekend or Classic this weekend? What do you think about the crowds and everything that's going on down here? This is huge. You know, I haven't, I haven't really played in this type of crowd not too often, so this will be my second or third time playing in a crowd this big. Okay, now how do you think that your game will transition to the next level? I don't really know. I think I, gotta, I got a lot of things I got to work on and to get to that next level, even though I'm, I'm, I'm on my way there. So I think just I got a lot to work on. What player in the NBA or maybe older than you uh, do you look, at, look up to, like, idolize your game after? Definitely Kevin Durant, man. That's my idol. Can you shoot like him? Not yet. Who's going to take home the NBA title this year, you think? I'm going to give it to Golden State. I think they're, they're loaded. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm from Akron, Ohio, so I'm taking the Cleveland Cavaliers, man. For all the kids watching, what can you give them as far as advice uh, playing at high school and on the college? I just say find a way to motivate yourself every day and be passionate about what you do. Okay, man, one more question. What do you think about the three-point shot and Stephen Curry shooting so many threes and these kids trying to shoot like him? I don't know if it's helping or hurting the game, but I think it, it tells people they got to work on their shot a lot more, but at the same time, it kind of downplays shot selection and stuff like that. Okay, man, well, hey, you go to rehab, get healthy, man. I want to see you back out there on the court.